Investigation is about to get underway in Gresham into allegations of racism at City Hall. Now, this comes after the top city leaders left this month, the mayor, the police chief, and the city manager. Today, a new mayor was sworn in, and the police chief is suddenly back. Our Lisa Balick is live in Gresham tonight with what's happening there. There's a lot happening there, Lisa. Yeah, definitely, Wayne. A lot of changes. And we found out today inside City Hall when we were listening in on what was going on that an independent investigation yeah, is going cool. to get underway into allegations of racism. As mayor to the city of Gresham. City Councilor Carolyn Eccles taking over as a leader of one of the largest cities in Oregon. She announced her top priority. She pause and listen and talk less. Eccles, who has served more than a decade on the council, will take over until a new mayor is elected in November. She's pledged not to run for the office. She's stepping in during a tumultuous time, taking over for Shane Bemis, who resigned as mayor after 14 years, saying he needs to focus on his family-owned restaurant struggling during the pandemic. Bemis left at the same time the city manager left and the police chief announced they were retiring, a time when the deputy city manager, who was black, sent a letter to city leaders accusing them of racism and not implementing police reforms. The new mayor knows it's a tough road ahead. But we do as a community need to have some important conversations around diversity, equity, and inclusion. They're just like the rest of the nation. Meantime, Gresham Police Chief Robin Sells arrived back at work today after she rescinded her letter of resignation. She was on the hot seat for criticizing the deputy city manager for what he believes were racist remarks. We asked to speak to the chief, but was told she would not comment today. But the city attorney says an outside investigation into accusations of the city as a hostile work environment is about to get underway. I can't guarantee you at this point that we will be looking, an investigator will be looking at uh, any particular issue. I can tell you that there are allegations of a hostile work environment uh, and retaliation. Those things may come into play. Now, within the past hour, I just got a statement from the former city manager who says, quote, the deputy city manager has had nothing to do with any recent retirements or resignations. Now, also, the council had voted last week to put up a Black Lives Matter flag in front of City Hall. We noticed today it wasn't there. We asked about it. We were told that they ordered it, and it hasn't arrived just yet. Live in Gresham, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.